Hi and welcome to our push notification tutorial video. In this tutorial video we're going to go over a, f a few things. Uh, one is going to be the groups uh, for setting up selective push notifications and the other is uh, sending out push notifications uh, and scheduling push notifications. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, start by showing you how to set up groups. Uh, you go ahead and click on group. Uh, what that's going to do is it's going to bring up this um, uh, this list of groups or subscription channels that you can send out your messages to. This is a really great way of making sure that all of your messages are relevant uh, and engaging. Um, as we know by Marketing 101 that uh, if you want to send out an effective message, it's got to go out uh, to the right person uh, at the right time with the right message. So uh, this allows you to do that. Uh, whenever you set up a group or multiple groups here, it's going to allow people uh, to to subscribe to these groups uh, and kind of choose their selections as to what they want to hear from and what their interests are um, in a variety of places. One is when they first download the app. Uh, another is when they um, uh, they can go in their notification settings. They can go in their uh, profile settings, they can go in their app settings, and they can do it there as well. So a variety of different ways that they can do that. Um, but uh, but that's, you just basically, if you want to set up a new group, you just add, click Add New Group, put the name of the group in here, the description in here, and go ahead and add it to the queue. You can see I've already added uh, a few here. This is an, a new app, but uh, we added a few. You can edit them as well, just to, if you want, ever want to edit uh, subscription channels, you can do that as well. And uh, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it as far as select, setting up the groups for selective push notifications. Now over here in the notification section, it allows you to utilize those groups and send out your, send out your messages. Um, when you click schedule new notification, here you're going to see that this is uh, this notification title. So let's just say this is going to be a game reminder. Uh, this is going to go out to parents and the notification message is going to be um, game starts tomorrow at 10 a.m. So this is the actual notification message that they're going to see when it comes up on their phone. This is the notification uh, title that's going to exist back here in your uh, history and it's also going to stay in their app history. Now whenever I send out a notification uh, you can see here I can schedule it to go out to everybody or select the specific group I want it to go out to. Typically when I send out, out notifications, I like to, to kind of signify here uh, which group it's going out to. It allows them, if they want to get a history of that group, to go back into it easily and find uh, where that message is, but it also signifies that it is going out to a specific group. Uh, you don't have to put it in if you don't want to, but I, I like to do that. Uh, now you can see down here, you can either schedule it now or you can send it on a specific time. So you can choose your date here, you can choose your time, and, uh, and you, then you can, when you click add, it'll add it to the queue. So we have many of our uh, you know, uh, partners and clients who, um, who will spend five or 10 minutes uh, during any given week and just put in the notifications for that week. They'll schedule them for the appropriate times to go out. And then, um, and then whenever that time comes up in the system, it'll trigger it and send out that notification uh, to the users. So this is a really great way. I, I definitely recommend uh, if, you, if you do want to use a loyalty component, uh, watch the loyalty video. We go over a few best practices there as to how to utilize it. But push notifications and selective push notifications are a great way to be able to communicate effectively uh, to, your, uh, to your client base, your community, whatever that might be, uh, to all of your users. So this is a really great way a few best practice um, scenarios that I want to kind of take you through is um, one: whenever you are, whenever you're promoting your app, uh, you always want to give them, you always want to give them the option, uh, or or kind of remind them of the importance of of turning on push notifications. Uh, many many platforms will automatically uh, enable them. Um, and so, which is great, uh, but you want to let them know about the selective push notifications as well. Um, like I said, when they first download the app, it will give them the screen to select their 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 preferences uh, or subscription channels. 
Uh, so that kind of keeps them engaged in that way. Uh, but it also, you can also use this on marketing. If you have daily deals or anything else like that, you can say, hey, uh, you know, download our app. And, and subscribe to this channel for daily deals, for exclusive deals, or you always want to you want to give them some value. Uh, the other thing that that doesn't um, doesn't really uh, exist in this part of the back office, but exists to the user, is what's called smart push. Um, that deals with uh, automatic push notifications that get sent out when an interaction is made on a social wall. So if you want to hear about those. Go ahead and go to the social wall tutorial and uh, and check that out. But that's how you set up groups for uh, selective push. Uh, that's how you uh, send out push notifications to either all members or groups, and you can either send them out now or schedule them for later. So thanks for uh, watching, and we will see you next time.